Number no, one. I did number one. <laughs> <laughs> number four. 20, number 27 guy, 18 girl. No! Yeah. Oh, you're tripping! You're yeah. talking on yeah. that yeah. 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 this entire yeah. time, and now you're going to pick oh. But I'm just kind of like, <laughs> they don't know me, son. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Night for Night podcast. I'm your host, Jason Kim. <laughs> yes, sir. Joel with my brother, Paulie. What's good? And then on my left, we got Megan Yu. Hello. And then on my right, we got Sola. Hello, hello. What's going on? Look at that! What's going on? <laughs> Check out the new set. Right. Real different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very <laughs> crispy. Very, very crispy. I don't even know. Nah, what nah. Nah. A new sign. Yeah. Uh-huh. Pictures. Yep. Honestly, the set is not done. We yeah. ordered some done. more stuff that yep. still got to come. Yep, yep. But um, yeah, no, this is about time for real. No, yes. for real. Yeah. Yeah, long yeah. time coming yeah, today yeah. was a mission too setting all oh yeah, yeah i would like to formally apologize to everyone here uh, for not charging bro, the camera yeah, literally his yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah. we had to run to best buy to pick up some more batteries and shit i would like to apologize <laughs> really fast right, right but it's right. all good yep. um now you can see our pants and shit i yeah, know bro. and my pores yeah, yeah. <laughs> pajamas no more come on uh, man. So, like literally we upgraded the cameras yep, yep. um hopefully you guys can notice the quality change oh yeah oh yeah we yeah, got yeah. the main man tony back here yeah, too yeah. man exactly. Shout out Tony and uh, his team at GG Easy Media. Whoa, All right. G-G-Z. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, they living up the production, the editing, the yep. visuals, everything. Yep, man. yep, yep. For real. If like, you're listening audio, go check out our YouTube to see yeah, the honestly, difference. Yeah. You got to check it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> honestly, we literally, this is our first time. I feel like this is a real podcast. Bro. It does feel yeah. like yeah. a professional. Dude, I don't yeah. know how to sit. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, it's very <laughs> like, I don't know how to sit. But it's like cozier now. It is. I feel yeah. more yeah. intimate. I'm it like, is. well, yeah. We'll have some good combos. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let us know what you think in the comments. Like, um, what you think about the new set? Yep. If you have any changes, let us know too. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. What we should change? Um, I have a surprise for you guys. We have oh, to yeah? go grab it. I'll be really quick. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Stay okay. here. Okay. Okay. And then when I tell you to close your eyes, you have to close your eyes. <gasps> okay. 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 Right peeking. I'm not peeking. I'm literally Jason. not peeking. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute! Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> the quality is great. This is so wow. cute. I love this. Oh my guys. god, Megan! <laughs> I literally like this took so long. Really? I had to like cut <laughs> it out, print quality. it, and then iron this on, and oh, then put the insert you in. You put no, this, this on. Great. Yeah, yeah. Wow! wow. This is great, this is, yeah, look at this. Wait, wait, you homemade this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. wow. I'm talented. I wanted something that was personal for us. Yeah. Oh, talented. Oh, this is so a perfect cute. addition for the couches. Oh, wait, God. it's so crazy because Megan asked for our selfies yeah. for this one. <laughs> and I think I just sent it to her like couple, only like two days oh, ago. Yeah. That's why I kept asking you guys for photos of your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. This That's is like, so yeah, yeah, yeah. This photo. Thank <laughs> you. I did not want to smile. Bro, I'm looking hella fat, bro. <laughs> I can't even lie, bro. Did I have to cut our neck? out and then i didn't know how to do the hair but uh-huh. i was sitting there ironing this on oh, and my wow. parents saw and like, <laughs> no this is great i'm this very impressed with the quality too. yeah, it's nice, yeah. Right? This, is a good Dude, pillow, this is yeah. a really nice pillow cover wow yeah, and then the so inside nice. is just like whatever but Damn, Damn, shout out to Megan. Yeah, shout oh, out to Megan. I'm like so touched right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. bro, this is crazy. Just looking at everything. And yeah, shit. bro. Yeah, I don't wow. know if you could make out the pictures. They're kind of small. But, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigger pictures coming soon. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Do we get into the episode? Yeah, or? but yeah. before that, oh, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, what's up? I was going to say, we got the club event tonight. So oh, I want to let yeah, the viewers yeah. know oh, right yeah. now. We're, we're kind of on a crunch. Yeah, time crunch. We are on a time crunch. Yeah, so we're just letting you know if it's a little shorter than the last two weeks, don't worry. Yeah. They're going to go back to that link. We literally have to leave it like in an hour and a half. I mean, this episode is going to come out after the club event, right, but right. hopefully if you showed up, you had a good time. Yep, hopefully. All right. And we got to do like a short episode today. Yeah, yeah, you. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like quickly, if you guys have any updates mm. for this week. <laughs> nah? uh, not? I have yeah. one. Okay. okay. I have one. I did a really amazing fun. I know our couches are a little like <laughs> <laughs> a little. <laughs> a little rocking chair. Couch. Yeah, it's a rocking chair. <laughs> um. I worked with uh, an amazing director on Ooh. a modeling shoot <gasps> and yeah. that's just been kind of feeling a fire inside me so I feel super inspired oh, wow. and I realized that I've been feeling very anxious over the past couple of months and like I didn't know why like something mm-hmm. was just like not clicking. like clicking just I just okay. wasn't in my element but then I realized it's because I'm not like breathing lately. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> like I'm not like taking the time to like 
Oh, like, like take a deep breath. Okay, okay. And just yeah, like yeah. appreciate everything. Oh, like you're moving too fast. Go, yeah, go, go, or just go. not even just like like taking a moment. Yeah, you uh-huh. know. So um, recently I've been meditating. Yeah. Oh. Like in random parts of my days, or uh-huh. like before I go to sleep, <gasps> or I've just been meditating and slay, slay. I've been so grounded and feeling so solid lately. Mm-hmm. So, I highly recommend. Do you yeah. do so, um, guided or silent? I do guided. guided? Calm. Uh, please sponsor us. Like I would love <laughs> oh, yeah. a calm sponsor. Oh, is that it would like be a great meditation app or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> calm is a meditation app, mm. and like it has such good. Like there's like really hot voices. Like I listen to like a guy. <laughs> there's <laughs> a guy in my meditation. Um, but yeah, so I've been feeling really good about myself. So good. love to hear it. Good yeah, update. Yeah. Love to hear yeah. that. Okay. I've like recently learned about sound baths. Yes. Sound baths. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. And it's like it's like a it's like a self healing uh, frequency, frequency therapy oh. thing. And this lady yeah. like guides you or man in a and bath it, or what? No, no, no. It's ca- it's just called a sound bath because oh, you're like okay. t- your breathing techniques. The mm-hmm. sound around you is all mm-hmm. different. Mm-hmm. But I hi- I think we should all do it. Maybe I think sound so. Bath. Basically, yeah. it's the you know how when you like like wet your finger and then uh-huh. you like do this on yeah, the top yeah, of like yeah. a cup oh yeah 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 it like makes like a yeah, mm, yeah. Sound. yeah yeah so yeah. sound bath is like a, are different sizes of bowls yeah, yeah and they make different frequencies oh yeah. I've seen that and yeah. those frequencies like help your brain feel but a certain way I like saw this video and mm-hmm. it was like a lady that was like really like it's an intense sound bath journey <laughs> for an hour <laughs> and like the people after were like that was the craziest experience of my life mm-hmm. but it was mm-hmm. them just changing the way that they're breathing mm-hmm. and the sounds that they're hearing i think we should do it i think we should <laughs> sound bath retreat yeah yeah Yo, we'll do a four-way yeah, sound bath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we turn it into like a self-help podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit, shit. Shit, man. Yeah, yeah. let's get into the fucking raunchy shit <laughs> <laughs> no so you need to change your mindset about this stuff you need to be more open <laughs> to you know like self-healing I told you to meditate. She meditates. Yeah. She feel better now. Is it actually? Does it work? Dude, it yeah. completely works because really? your brain actually needs oxygen to function. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like breathing literally feeds the brain. Yeah. You my know? brother. And Everybody I take a breath. This, yeah. <laughs> my brother and I did this breathing technique thing, and I held my breath for two minutes straight. <gasps> Damn. Mm-hmm. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's very mm-hmm. long. Mm-hmm. And then we were just sitting there, like literally like this, <laughs> and we did a breathing thing, two minutes. Right. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, let's <laughs> go. Uh, you got any updates, bro? Anything? Uh, not really, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just went to school and shit. Yeah, yeah played some basketball. Got kneed so fucking hard, bro. Got oh, the fattest basketball. bruise on my thigh and shit. But it's oh, all good. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, it's all good. You though. good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I like limping around. Hey, but from the last episode, they were trying to guess that K-pop group, bro. Oh, I know, oh, yeah. <laughs> bro. Yeah. I was gonna say they detect us for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we won't say, but one of them's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. One of them's right. They were talking about the Discord too and everything. Yeah, no, they're very. I'm surprised our fans are K-pop fans. No, yeah. I do. That th- the thing is, I didn't even know the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, but they know it. That means something good. Yeah, if yeah, they come yeah, on. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my nails done. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like the different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And I watched The Great Gatsby. Ooh, new on Netflix, right? Yeah. Dude, I've never <laughs> seen it before. So good. It's so, it's, it's a vibe. Dude, it's so good. Anyways, okay, let's just do the episode. Jason's <laughs> right, sick so, of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not trying to be mean, but no, uh, let's, let's get into yeah. this week's episode. All right. Um, who's got the first question? Okay. This is a question for the boys. Uh-huh. Um, does what a girl wear to the gym matter? Oh. Mm-hmm. If like, it's my girl, it doesn't really matter. Oh, it doesn't matter? If, uh, not too much. But say like I was a single guy going to the gym, uh-huh, uh-huh. then I do care what they're wearing. So oh. Do you feel me? Yeah. What, yeah, are, yeah. what are things that catches your attention? Uh, dude, no. I mean, as a guy, <laughs> I, no, no, no. As a guy that likes to go to the gym a lot, uh-huh. I think it definitely matters. Really? And you're talking about like if it matters if she's like attractive, right? Well, no. It, like, anyways, was, well, if, is it just like a sports bra and like booty shorts? Not booty uh, shorts, but like um spandex. spandex. Yeah. I mean, I think the matching set is always nice. Oh yeah, that's a great call. Mm-hmm. Great call. Are yeah. you ever like she looks a little slutty? Uh, nah, not at the yeah, gym. not at the gym. Not all the girls gym. be doing that low key. They yeah. be like wedging that shit for real. <laughs> I can't even lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I should be doing that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't. More You're so, like I could just tell if they like to work out by what they wear. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, like okay. if they come up with the oversized tee, like I uh-huh. know like they they like to work their yeah. yeah or like in the sweatpants. Yeah, and you, and you know they're about to take it off like mid set. You know? Fact. Mm. Fact. Or like those girls who wear like big t shirts, but they like tuck the back. Tuck it back in. Yeah, yeah. That's how you know they're. Yeah, yeah. I will say though, I feel like if the girl has like the full makeup on, I find it somewhat odd. Oh, let's talk about that. Like, I'm what if like, she wears makeup to the gym? That's fine, but like, you know, the completely like she's like, about to go beat. to the club look. I'm like, yo, oh, what's that going on? Weird, yeah. It's a little too like yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, did you what come you to thinking? the gym to you know get? You take it off before you go to the gym. No, I I just have my eye makeup on, but I don't have face makeup on. Mm, I see. Because mm-hmm. your sweat ruins it, right? No, I don't sweat that much. Oh mm. really? Yeah. I feel like because when I work out with my girl, she always takes it off. Mm, mm, oh really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause doesn't it bother you or not? No, I mean it's just my lashes. I keep this is always on for me. It's like if I don't look good at the yeah, gym, yeah. I'm not gonna have a good workout. Yeah, right. you're not motivated. Oh, right. I'm not motivated. Oh. If I have a really cute outfit on right, and right, my right. hair, I don't care about my hair. Yeah, yeah. But it's been more on my face too. If I like, even if I just have lashes on, I'll yeah. feel good. Mm-hmm. You know. No, I feel that. But yeah. don't you like when you sweat a lot? Don't you feel like it's gonna cake up? I don't really, really wear like foundation too yeah. much. At, I don't wear foundation to the gym. Dude, that I always thought like girls take it off because they it was gonna cake up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, makeup's advancing, brother. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but it really I'm is sorry. though. <laughs> it really is though. <laughs> you know what? I think like, do you, can you guys tell if a girl has like makeup on? If of it's like course, no makeup, makeup. Yes. But course, if it's like no bro. makeup, makeup. Yeah, uh, I don't course. think you guys can. Tell. I don't think I they can. can tell. Tell. I don't think they can, can tell. Sometimes the no makeup, makeup thing you're talking about uh-huh. is hard to tell. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But full face, I can tell. For sure. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know yeah, what you're trying face. to say. Like, guys can't tell when it's the no makeup look. But yeah. you actually have a little makeup on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can tell. A little eyeliner, a little foundation. <laughs> okay. Wait, so what is like a slutty men gym wear oh, for my you? God. Oh, dude. When they're in the compression shirt and oh, yeah. sweatpants. Oh, yeah. There's just one guy at the gym I see every day uh-huh. wearing that exact outfit every is time. Is it the long sleeve compression? Long sleeve yeah, yeah, compression, that's like the too. Stoddiest, Dude, that's the yeah. sluttiest top you <laughs> the can guy wear. That, yeah, bro. The long sleeve one, yeah. <laughs> or what if... Nah, nah, those compression tees, yeah. it's hard to pull off, bro. They, it is. They, they skin tight on you. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you need the muscle yeah, no, to no, finish Because I got one recently, bro. <laughs> <laughs> A little tight. I'm trying to stretch it out, bro. Did you get the the long sleeve one? No, 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 no. I got the short sleeve one. Yeah. Short sleeve one. I can't imagine <laughs> wearing the long sleeve one. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. I mean, honestly, the the short sleeve, long sleeve, same thing. The no. Same, oh. same, 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 same. No. Long sleeve is riskier, bro. Dude, the long Why? sleeve. It's, it's literally just your arm. Dude, no. but it just like looks. Yeah, but like looks if it's tighter too, like your even your forearms yeah, look good, yeah, you know? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yo, but I was going to say, what about those guys who wear, like, those uh, things that barely cover their, like, nipples? Oh, my you God, know? the, <coughs> the string, stringer, stringer. Stringer, stringer. The, like, the floss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. called a stringer. It's is like that a, okay? It's oh. like a tank, but, like, what's holding it is, like, literally a it, string. It's just, like, like really so I don't think I've, and it, and it I don't think I've ever low. seen it. Oh, really? That's when, like, uh, really? like, the super gym bros. Yeah. 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 See, I think it's fine when they wear it. Because they're, like, so huge. They're about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody small wears that kind of string. I agree, I agree. Honestly, I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't like it. But it's not, like, considered slutty if you saw a guy wearing that. No, I just think like you're a gym dude. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you, like you. you love the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what we need to leave in like 2023, bro? What, what? It's like the fucking wife beaters at the gym. Oh, really? Yeah, I think the wife beaters mm. became a trend like 2020-ish. Yeah. I, I used to wear it too. I can't mm-hmm. lie. But motherfuckers be like high schoolers. That's they, what I was gonna say. They be wearing uh, wife beaters to the gym and like it just don't look oh, good. Really? Yeah. If you go to the gym at two to three p.m., yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. like hella teenage high school boys mm-hmm. all wearing wife beaters yeah. and they're skinny as fuck yeah, yeah. Oh. but like i don't know like it's just i don't not mind it. i don't mind the wife beater really? i don't mind the wife mm-hmm. beaters as uh, as well yeah. but mm-hmm. i feel at like the gym at the gym yeah. but <laughs> because i i don't like it when skinny guys wear it oh, yeah. <laughs> no, right because all you see is that is that stomach <laughs> because it's the same thing as the compression tee it's it's really tight mm. so if you're skinny like you just see like a stomach from, <laughs> uh, i don't know dude with the compression tee like if I don't like you, then I'm like, oh, you look a little slutty. But if a guy I like wears oh. a compression tee, I will not be able to stop looking at them. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, you look great. Oh, so all the boys should get a compression tee if they're into working yeah. out. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, yeah. given that they can pull it off. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. there's literally this one guy that wears the exact same outfit. Long sleeve compression with the gray sweatpants to the gym. I'm like, boy, what you doing here? <laughs> that kind of looks like that hinge guy from last week. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. I swear, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Andrew, he just missed it. Andrew, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, because we yeah. just posted the clip, yeah, so yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that was a good clip. I like the clip. There's this trend going on on TikTok uh-huh. that's like, if you won the lottery, I wouldn't tell. There would be signs. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. So pretty Explain much there's like a trend going on that says like if you won the lottery, mm-hmm. I wouldn't tell anyone, but there would be signs and that like you would buy this much of one thing. There's right. be hella pickles in the house. Right, right, right. And it's like a picture slide. Oh, wow. Oh, basically, what would you buy? Or I'm, I'm saying if you won the lottery, would you tell people? And what would you buy? Mm. Depending on the amount of, uh, that I get. Really? If it's a lot, then I won't tell anybody. If it's like a little bit, then I'll tell. Mm, yeah, 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 facts, yeah, yeah, facts. yeah. If it's anything like over like 500K, honestly, I'm not telling, bro. Yeah. I was going to say a mil. Mm. Yeah. Because a mil is like, no one's really going to ask you maybe to buy you some food. Yeah. But no one's going to ask you for like 20K. Yeah. You know mm. what I mean? So yeah. that's like, you kind of want to brag about that. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you win like a Powerball for like a bill. Yeah. A B. Oh, there's no way I'm yeah, telling. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. That's when motherfuckers start asking. Yeah. Facts. I feel like when I was little, I just thought about the lottery all the time. <laughs> Did you, you buy those? No, I would never. I bought it when I turned 18. Mm. I remember oh, I yeah. looked online. I was like, you buy all this stuff when you're 18. I remember I bought a lottery ticket, but in my head, I don't know. It's like one of my Roman empires when I was little. I'm like, I'm going to buy a lottery ticket all the time when I'm older. Like, why aren't people buying this? <laughs> That's what I would think. But what would you buy? The first thing you would buy if you got a million dollar right. lottery yeah. ticket. And it's like sad. It's like one thing that I repurchase and put yeah. around places that people could kind of tell. It's like so the trend is like if I won the water lottery, I wouldn't tell anybody, but there would be signs. I and see. then it's like a slide picture and it's like a fridge full of pickles or like uh. <laughs> literally like, no, I, like okay, I yeah. see what you're saying. I yeah, think I, I would get, trend, yeah, yeah, I'll get caught up because I'll just be eating sushi every night. Ooh. Like at the best oh. restaurant, Burger fish every night. Yeah. Yeah. Every night, yeah, 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 and I get caught like that. I feel that. I feel yeah. Got it, yeah. got it. I yeah. see the question now. A meal, a meal, one meal, one meal. One but meal. let's just say you just have to buy a bunch of one thing that you yeah, really like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would be like the sex, the accessories. Mm. So suddenly I'm, oh, yeah, like, I style. Style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like I'm walking around with a rich hard meal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bro. He said that's yeah. a nine four nine, like <laughs> chain. studded chain <laughs> around his neck. Oh, that'd be hilarious, bro. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so VBS, funny. VBS. <laughs> 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 oh yeah no definitely like accessories dude i would get iced the fuck out bro. would you want one of those like big ass yeah oh, like, you know like the rappers <sighs> i don't know because like they always say it's like a waste of money like you will mm. never get that money back oh That's yeah true. you know oh, what yeah. i'm saying especially if you ice it out yeah. yeah but i feel like if it's like a situation where unlimited money yeah i would get one i saw Lil yachty got he has little braids in his hair uh-huh. and he got them iced out Ooh. Oh, the braid itself? Yeah. Oh, that's, Ooh, that's cute. That was that's tough. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, you know what? That so reminded tough. me. Lil Yachty got, um, what's it called? Veneers. I would get that. That's the first thing mm. I would get. Veneers? Veneers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's like got, fake teeth. Mm-hmm, he's got like 90K. But like, you need veneers. fake teeth? No, like it's literally. Oh, yeah. no, like look veneer. Oh, veneer. Dude, yeah. veneer scare me though. You have to like shave it and then put it. Yeah, in. It's, you, it's like permanently, but mm-hmm. it's like for the rest of your life, you got a perfect set of white teeth. That's true. You gotta go back. Oh, what? It doesn't stay forever. Oh, it's like ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, ten yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's a little risky, but it does look hella good. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. You Just want you want you want grills? No, not grills. Oh. Just straight veneers. Just yeah, veneers, it looks really good. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. white teeth. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? I feel like I'll get like shoes. Shoes? <laughs> oh. Wait, nobody don't tell though. What? Nobody can tell that you want the lottery. Exactly, like that. but mm. like my shoes are will be like quiet enough. But like, I'd be walking on my yeah, bills. You know, you know, you know exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. I see. I'm a shoe girly too. Yeah. yeah I did not know you guys. Were on my tippies. Like that. I'm. I got. I like heels. Me too. My little pointed heels. Mm. Oh yeah, I saw you post I'm that. I'm wearing a little collection. <laughs> yeah, I think heels. I'm are you getting like those like heels or like like designer shoes? Both. Oh, some oh. Jimmy shoes would be nice. You know. Jimmy Choo. <laughs> you talking about like some J's or you talking about like some Nah, not yeah. J's. Oh, okay, I ain't okay, seen okay, okay, no okay. J's. Bro. Nah, nah, <laughs> not like a J's. sneaker head. I'm a heel. Right, yeah, right, right. Heel girlies. I would buy a bunch of candy and have my own candy store in my house. Oh, you definitely no. would do that. You, dude, she brings candy to every filming. <laughs> yeah, she does. I love it. So you would, you would like sell candy out your house? No, no, no. Like, like a little myself. candy corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, candy like, corner. I give it anybody. Okay, okay. Candy. I get a really nice bed big ass yeah, one yeah, yeah, yeah. like a like a california king right. yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but beds are very important That's they such are a good they good are. investment mm-hmm. i'm like back home 
sleeping on my little twin bed <laughs> in the corner. I literally, I just lay there all day. You know, like some beds are like 10K. Really? Because like you can temperature control it. <gasps> and like there's different sides of the beds that yeah. you can oh. choose the different temperatures. Oh, and yeah. then like you can lift I've it. I've seen that actually, yeah. I think about that shit all the time. Yeah. That would be so nice. No, that would be fun. <laughs> if, if, if I see you with that, I know you want the lottery. <laughs> you want the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a dinky ass house <laughs> but the bed is it's just insane. like royal <laughs> gold Not cover real, bro. <laughs> okay that was my question do you have a the serious question you wanted to ask yeah, yeah. okay yeah. Well, i was gonna question. say uh-huh. wait, let, let's get into a segment first okay. oh, oh, yeah. after that we're not gonna have too many questions yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, 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 okay okay all right all right so f- i got a a new like little segment for y'all so basically okay. real quick i'm gonna hand each of you guys a whiteboard okay. and the point of the whiteboard is for you to kind of write down notes to remember the order of the things so okay, i'm because okay, okay. i'm gonna give you guys five different couple scenarios okay <gasps> right and i'm gonna be very descriptive so okay. remember the different couples okay okay and then i'm asking you follow-up questions all right, okay all right, all right mc paul yeah, yeah here's two over there or yeah oh i got it this i feel one. like we should all be like wearing yeah. like glasses or something uh-huh. <laughs> like, Okay, okay. So first, <laughs> I would like to see you guys write down one through five, please, on the whiteboards. Okay. Um, you can just write down little things to remember it, you know what I mean? Like some random detail. Yeah. Professor Paul. Yep, yep. All right, everyone is ready? Is this your first time using the whiteboard? Yeah. Oh, this oh yeah. Is, this is. Yeah, this, yeah, this, this is, is like, classic as yeah, well. Yeah, this is like Wait, new what? for me. <laughs> what is this segment called? Like, uh, No name, no name. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. Describe what you're going to do, though. Yeah, so I'm going to give you guys um, five different couple scenarios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like five different types of couples. Yeah. They're all going through different situations. Okay. And then after that, once you guys know the five different couples, I'm going to give you questions like who's got the it. fastest to break up? Who out of these couples do you think might get married? Got it, got With it, explanations, got it. right? Slay, very slay, descriptive slay. So okay. question right. yes is there a right answer there's no right answer it's Perfect. pure but you, i want oh. this to become a debate so you have to fight for which couple for real okay mm. yeah, got it. i don't want to see your board no no it's uh, fine you can oh see we can say it along the way ju- you're just writing notes to, no, remember, no take to remember no taking yes okay <laughs> enough of the explanations okay let's do it time to start with couple number one okay so couple number one imagine crash landing if you guys haven't watched that mm-hmm. so something similar so it's going to be like a government official for example, mm-hmm. right? Oh, okay. She's going into North Korea for some government shit, right? Mm-hmm. S- some North Korean soldier happens to see her and just finds her very beautiful, and that's how their love story begins. So that's <gasps> couple number one. Wait, so the girl Ooh. is a girl is the government official. The girl is government official. Guy's a soldier in North Korea. She's a South Korean government official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Damn. Right, ready for couple number two? Okay. Okay, the couple number two is a normal, happy couple. They're married, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, just like in the dramas, this wife is obsessed with getting revenge on her ex. So whether that's murder, who knows what? But she's obsessed with that. That's all that's on her mind. Okay. But y'all are happy, though, with her ex. Okay. Ready for couple number three? Uh So couple number three is they're high school sweethearts, (gasps) okay? But then randomly, right, this dude gets struck by lightning one day, right? <laughs> so every day after that, his face changes. Same personality, but yeah. every day his face Ooh. changes. Oh, like he's got some sort of power. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. But he can't even control it. It just changes every day. Okay. okay. <laughs> I love the note taking. <laughs> Made them go back to school and shit. <laughs> All right. Couple number four. So a couple number four is a normal couple, but mm-hmm. the thing is the guy is 27, right? Yeah. yeah. But he's dating an 18-year-old fresh out of... Fresh out of high school, girl. Guy is 20. Red flag. Girl is 18. Yep, girl is 18. How did they meet? Um, We'll just say through a DM. (laughs) Yeah, IG DM. Okay. Okay, (coughs) now the last couple. Mm -hmm. It is a drug dealer couple, right? But they're constantly on the run, and we're going to assume that they don't really ever get caught, Mm -hmm. but we're thinking Bonnie and Clyde here, so they're always, you know, they got to be careful of what's coming. But the chemistry is great. Obviously, yeah, yeah, it's strong, strong. Ooh, I love these. All right, so we got five very unique couples right here, Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. So now I'm going to hit you guys with the first question. Out of these five couples, which one do you think would break up first and why? So we have to say them now and we can't change our answer later? Yeah. This is just, yeah, one question. 27 guy, 18 girls breaking up first. Breaking up first? Yeah, why? Yeah. Why? Why? Uh, Dude, it's just different lives. They're living two different lives. And the pressure from the family of the 18 girl. Okay, okay. Is going to make her, and her friends is going to make her break up with the 27 year old guy. Oh, yeah. You don't think like the guy's going to brainwash this young girl to be f- madly 
like she, I mean, with this guy. he's gonna try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna try. But, but the family, I, yeah, I can see that. Too much pressure from everyone. Good else. point. I think okay, number think? two, married wife who is obsessed with their ex is gonna break up first. I mm. agree too. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So why do you guys mm-hmm. think that? I think that's just like the guy is just gonna get fed up. And as we know, guys kind of, you know, a guy has to like to go more in the relationship. Right, you know right, what I mean? right. He's just going to be like, I'm over your bullshit. Why do you care about somebody else? Go back to him. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the obsessiveness yeah. of the wife is going to get to the partner. Mm. Like, why are you still stuck in the past and right. thinking about your ex? Okay. Like, wh- get over it. Okay. Yeah. You're with me now. With the 18 and 27-year-old they're couple, like yeah. they're just like both delusional motherfuckers that love each other and there's nothing separating them in my personal opinion i agree Mm -hmm. because that age gap is what 50 percent nine nine yeah yeah 50 percent of that guy is twice as old as her yeah but, but I think that's still possible. Yeah. Wait, I think wait just like to fight for nine for nine. Uh, it's not twice. It's Jason's math was just not math. Oh, right there. Because <laughs> Oh, but I'm saying, I'm saying. I know what you age, mean, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Half her age is nine. Right, right, plus right, nine. Right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. I just have to fight for my boy <laughs> real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think there's couples like that. Exactly. There are. I think, there are I think you can still be madly in love. Yeah. Especially, yeah, yeah, no, I can see know? number two. I, like I the sugar daddy, two. sugar mama mm-hmm, type, mm-hmm, of, mm-hmm. type of relationship. Can you convince them, Jason, to somehow take your side, do you think? Or um, no? no, honestly, nah. yeah, I'm you probably convinced for from? number two. Okay, okay. Woo-hoo! All right, for sure. yeah. okay, And also, nice. in all these scenarios, I want you to guys to be like, it's like a fantasy land. You yeah, know, like yeah, crazy yeah. shit's happening, you know what I mean? So just keep that in mind when all you're like explaining right. your shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so question number two with all of these um, couples is, which one out of these five couples do you think will get married? Most likely to get married, actually. Aren't they already married? Wife? Oh, okay. We'll say that they're all dating. Okay. If they're all in dating situations. The first to get married? Yeah. And we can't pick the ones we picked before, right? You can. Oh. I think couple five, the drug dealers. The first one to get married. (laughs) I I like that answer. Why? Why? (laughs) Because I feel like you can... like I, I'm imagining like them on like a drunk night. Yes, yes. You know they're like coked up or something, right, 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 right. <laughs> and then they're in Vegas or something, and then they just get married. <laughs> I could see that. I, I could see that. I can see that. You know. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know because uh, number one, number five, uh-huh. crash landing on you. Right, right, right. And number drug dealer couple, uh-huh. mm-hmm. they don't want to get the government involved. You know what oh. I'm saying? Right, right. So they they're, don't. Not gonna, they're not going to, they don't want to put their Ooh, marriage Oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I didn't think of that. Yeah. That's a great point. I think that number three might get married first. Number the three. High, the high yeah. school sweethearts. I think it's because the guy's going to realize how much the girl loves her, uh-huh. even though his face changes every single day. And he's mm. like, I cannot let this girl go. I need to lock her down. Wow, I like that explanation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking three as well. What about I don't think three. Oh, why, why, oh. why? I disagree. <laughs> why do you disagree? <laughs> because I, I think um, I think the face changing every single day uh-huh. is going to become like it, it'll seem like you're not da- you're not da- dating the same person. Right. That is another mm. thing that's possible. You know? Yeah. yeah. That is true. But I feel like a like girl is love blind. I don't yeah, think but so. for girls, <laughs> they fall in love with the personality more, and that he has the same true. personality. That and maybe some days he might be like uber handsome. Hot. Uh-huh. You know right, know? right, right. And maybe on Tuesdays he's just a little ugly, but you know maybe Fridays <laughs> and the weekends he looks a little better. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, yeah. Actually, I don't know, bro. I don't. Because what if they change into like a different gender too? Right. That's exactly what I was <laughs> yeah, gonna say. Because yeah, I was yeah. gonna say in this world, like this face could turn into a girl for a day. Even better. Yeah, I feel like, not, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, actually, actually, nah, nah. There's, Which no, one would there's you no way, there's no way it could be three. See, yeah. the question is, who would get married the quickest? Or the most quickest? likely to actually get married? Um, oh, okay. IRL. First, first. Yeah, quickly, I guess. It might be mm. number four, too. I agree. Do you know what I mean? The guy's oh, gonna no. be the like... The guy's oh, just no. putting the pressure no, no, no. on the girl? The guy's oh. like, I'm gonna marry you, and then the girl's like, okay, yes, I'm gonna do it. But then the, <sighs> but then the girl's family is gonna be like, you cannot do that! 
you will be disowned. And she's like, disown me, and then runs away and gets married with a dude. Like, nah, elopes. No way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even if you really like somebody, you're not going to get married at 18. But you know what? I'm actually convinced you know by Megan. Uh-huh. I think that couple, the age difference couple number four, is going to get married first because if you are 18 and you're dating somebody that's 27, mm-hmm. yeah. you're already in the Lulu land. Exactly. A little you bit. You are. Exactly. That is no, true. Exactly. No, so no, you're more no, inclined no, to pull the trigger. Exactly. Exactly. Really? Really? No, exactly. No. I totally agree. Fuck I totally no. agree. Fuck. No, no, no. No, there were girls in high school that dated college guys and like it was a cool thing to do uh-huh. but those girls were never gonna marry those guys but what tell me mean? but tell me how many high school friends you have that are already married that none. is true none really, oh, really? None. i have high, so oh, many I high school friends that are married yeah. My, i think none. you know what i think the man is in the military what and then they're gonna get married. About? Oh, the guys, the twenty-seven year old guys, are just put an <laughs> occupation <laughs> around. <around. laughs> what? You didn't give me an occupation. Yeah, no, I no, can yeah, make yeah. up an no, occupation. No, no, no. You no, can't no, just no. you can't just name an occupation yeah. that helps your argument. Like, no, no, no. Okay, fine. I'm still sticking with my answer. No, but this before. is interesting because when I was writing this, yeah. I thought five would be most likely to get married, but yeah. I didn't think of Jason's no, point about the whole yeah. like government. Yeah. Government. But if you could low key do it in Vegas, no, no, no. Exactly. Yeah. The thing about drug dealers like trappers like they they hate getting involved with that shit exactly but when you're they co- want to stay low key as possible bro they're not gonna fucking they're gonna start signing their, shit yeah they're gonna have their but, own secret one but i feel like as a drug dealer you're used to that thrill yeah, that, that lo- risk yeah that love that, is very intense the chemistry is just no i i uh, agree i right. agree i think the lo- the most intense love might be number five yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right but right. they're just not gonna get involved yeah that's yeah that, that doesn't mean they're gonna get married yeah, yeah, yeah that, I'm that convinced. opinion threw me yeah, yeah. yeah. and I'm convinced. it's like wolf of wall street remember how it was like hella illegal and stuff mm-hmm. do you know what i mean so they they're gonna still have a celebration knowing drug dealers they love extravagance yeah um, yeah and yeah. parties so they're definitely gonna host something but it's not gonna be like a government legal, legal. Yeah. Yeah. official sure. officiated then which one are we go we knocked out a lot of them <laughs> I'm sticking with four. I'm sticking with four too. Twenty. Oh, I don't l- want to go with that one. Eighteen girl is not getting married. I do bro. not want to go with that Yo, one. Nobody eighteen is getting married. Which one would you go with then, Jason? If we have probably number three. One. Yeah, probably number yeah, three. The couple that their face changes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then I got one last question based on these scenarios. Mm-hmm. It is which one out of these couples is like the most rewarding to stay in that relationship for a long time? Because all of them are kind of a little risky Wait. in a way. <laughs> most rewarding to stay in. Yeah. Or oh. maybe. If Paraphrasing your question, which uh-huh. one would we want to be in? Oh yeah, that's let's, exactly, let's, that, yeah we could do that too. Let's do both of them. Yeah, okay, let's okay. do both of them. Yeah. Okay. Which one do you want to do first? We could do that one first. Which one would we want to be in? Okay. If we had to pick. Yeah. If you had to pick. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is tough. This is. T- they're all so hard. <laughs> they're so hard. I have mine already. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Dude, I can't even lie. This I'm number is five. Tough. Bro. I'm number five as <laughs> well. Five. Yeah. Like you're you're dealing because <laughs> okay, aside from that matter, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. more so like think about it, you're seeing your girl every day. A lot of these you can't even see them like that often. Exactly. I you mean, gonna be in North Korea? Yeah, North Korea, South Korea is like, dude, you're writing fucking mm-hmm. mails and shit, dude. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. And you can't visit your girlfriend while the, she's in the class. The face thing, I I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to date an 18 year old. <laughs> yeah. So that leaves two options, brother. <laughs> she got six period. <laughs> but uh, which one would you want to be in? Oh, so five. you can't even do you can't even open up a fucking bank account but Dude. you but you're constantly you, on the you got run. enough cash you got yeah. enough cash you are, are you an elite drug dealer exactly bro. right there's El some Chapo. exactly <laughs> there's something about like you know love that you can't have with each other and you guys that are just forbidden love, forbidden right? love and you're yeah, just running away from certain. everybody you ain't got no obligations and yet you're loaded you know what i mean right, someday you could right, i'm right. like honey i don't like our our community here they're not buying enough let's go to paris you know I mean? Oh, I'll build you one. Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> I don't know which which one were you thinking. I can't choose. Everything is kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man. I think even though I said they're not gonna get married, uh-huh. I think I'm gonna choose three. Three. The high school the, sweetheart. The guy's face changes or whose face changes? The guy. The face guy's changes. face changes. But if we if you were the guy, we'll say the girl's face changes, Jason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. just the opposite part. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I take the risk. You'll take the risk. Wow. I'll take the risk. Mm-hmm. That's a good gonna, one. I was going to say the crash landing on you, bro. Really? Yeah. Patient Jason, huh? Wow. <laughs> he doesn't need to see his girl. That's no, actually no, just, surprising. No, no. I, dude, that's like one of my favorite dramas. That's why. <laughs> K-dramas. Is that okay, like but you have to live yeah, in it. Yeah, you have to live that, bro. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, bro. I need to watch that. 
Oh, it's you gotta him. watch that, I, dude. Just it. a drug dealer couple, like, bro. You're gonna like, you're, you're waking up every morning like afraid that someone's gonna knock on your door. Exactly. True, you know true, what I mean? True, like, true, true. makes exactly. it spicy, bro. Quickie, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go to the next city, bro. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. But is that your answer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do the other one. That yeah. We the have. last question was, what's the most rewarding couple? Like, I know they're all tough. So, if you were to successfully make it out this relationship, which one do you think is the most worthwhile? Oh, make it out. Yeah. Like, as in, like, make it till the end. Oh, I had a different perspective. Oh, what was your perspective? What was your perspective? Like, you're reaping the benefits of their things. Oh. Like, for example. Are you talking about love? You're talking about love. Yeah. Right? He's talking about love. I'm talking about like life. Mm. So okay. I would pick number three because let's say like his face changes every day. Mm-hmm. What if he becomes a celebrity out of nowhere? For a day. For a day. For a day. Yeah. Exactly. But so he's not gonna go be out. he's not gonna be become yeah. another person. It's just a face. Exactly. That's fine. So you could just pretend to be that celebrity for one day. No, no, no. He's not gonna become another person. Yeah, yeah. It's he's just gonna, his face is gonna turn into a random person. Right, right, right. That's yeah. that hasn't been born yet. You can't be making shit up. Okay, we'll no, say no, an no. occupation. No, 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 no. <laughs> but it's not, no, it doesn't make sense. Like it's like me turning into Barack Obama. Like that's not gonna for happen for one day. No, 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 that's not the. That's not what how you meant it, right? <laughs> I know, but you look like. Are you Barack turning Obama. into another person, or are you just getting a random face, right? Random face. Yeah, but random honestly, face. like random but face random could mean face whatever. Could be a celebrity. So you say I, like I, you one say day? I can wake up as naked for one day. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so you, so I'm turning into other people. Yeah. Sure. Sure. That's that changes it, bro. Does it though? I don't think it changes it at all for me. I think it does change it. Really? Because yeah. then, like, because it's not now just a changing face. It's yeah. a changing status. It's a changing yeah, personality. Yeah, you everything. know what I mean? Because right it, now, it it's is. just the face. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh. I With thought no you were you were it. getting a random face that, like, no one has been born yeah. yet with. Mm. Yeah. You know what well, I mean? Well, I mean, I was honestly oh. thinking either or. <laughs> like, oh. Fine. Whatever. But <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, like, the most rewarding to, to make it out of. Yeah, make it out of. Number four. 20, 27 guy, what? 18 girl. No! Yeah. Oh, you're tripping! You're yeah. talking on that relationship yeah. this entire bro. time, and now you're gonna pick that? You're tripping, bro. Because <laughs> think about it. If what? you make it out, uh-huh. it's only weird for the first like five years. <laughs> okay. Once you hit, when she hits, 30, <laughs> when she hits 23, and I'm, and I'm 37, <laughs> dude, that's straight. And, and the older I get, the less weird it you becomes. You just said that that relationship would never last. Yeah. No, I'm saying they would never get married at 18. That's what I said. That is what he said. That is what he said. That is what he said. But if they make it out, like let's say I hit 40 and he, and she's what? What's the difference right here? Nine? Nine years, yeah. So yeah, she's 31. She's, a, she's like 31? That's great for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see it. That's not great for us though. I'm going with answer number one, bro. <laughs> number one. Me too. I think number one is number the most rewarding. Number one's most rewarding. rewarding. What? Like they... Love because wise? you it's so hard to see them <laughs> yeah, yeah to yeah. even make the relationship last a yeah, multiple yeah. number of years it's like yeah. you're putting in an insane amount of effort in a creative yeah. way because yeah. you can't even see them mm-hmm. yeah so if you make it out when you do get together with them oh my yeah. god you're enjoying those last 30 no, years or whatever true. I, yeah. I, agree. I totally agree with you as well because i feel like that number one is like s- there's so many obstacles outside of your control right 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 it's at the uh, it's at the international level of trouble that you can't even yeah. fix yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like so real I, life yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah so i think that if you can overcome that you can overcome anything mm, okay yeah well that's the end for this little scenario wow, game I like it. <laughs> I like you, it. you came up with this or what yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, oh, on, nice. man. come on man you know me man creative brain okay all right so we're doing back-to-back segments yep yep all right so i know if you've been on youtube mm-hmm. All right, I know you've seen GQ's, mm-hmm. what, 10 Things You Can't Live Without? Yep. Uh-huh. So we're doing this little 9 for 9 segment of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be me and Tola. We're doing five things we can't live without. Yep, yep. Next week will be me and Megan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, I'll start, all right? <laughs> <laughs> what is item number one? Yeah, what is item number no, one? Item bro? number one. <laughs> oh, uh, my uh, God. We got that whey isolate protein, <laughs> oh. all right? And it's not even like that protein itself. I just wanted to say like, I think the gym is such an important part of my life. Okay. So it's like all encompassing. Like the protein, okay. obviously, I take this every day, but it's this. I think I couldn't bring like a dumbbell or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is oh, item number answer. one. Wait, what flavor is that? So this Chocolate is. Uh, is that your called? favorite one? No, so this is what I put in my protein pancakes. So. Ooh. But it's a uh, cinnamon crunch cereal. Ooh. Yeah. Shout out Chris Bumstead. <laughs> yeah. Can I see it? Yeah. Sebum. Sebum yeah. shout outs. Crazy. This one helps you not blow and shit too, right? Uh, I don't I don't know about that because <laughs> um, it's not the second the second one's easy all right so I forgot my Vaseline I don't know where it is but Aquaphor all right there was a there's a 
phase where I was on like Accutane a lot. Yeah. So like literally my lips would get super chapped. And that was like 2020. Yeah, when you so, moved out. Yeah, I remember, literally bro. ever since then, I've been carrying one of these <laughs> literally, everywhere. Bro. Literally, bro. No, Jason has the big ass. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where it went, but I literally be dipping my fingers in that shit like literally every 30 minutes. So that's that's item number two. But honestly, I love it when a guy carries lip moisturizer. But honestly, Dang. that's good. Yeah, it is actually yeah. a great thing. Bro. No. It's yeah. a good sign. But literally, it's like... Um, once you start, you can't stop. Dude, I'm addicted to to putting on. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what on. it is. Like literally, I feel like I've heard that it like chaps your lips more, so that you will need more. Yeah, oh. or like when you don't have it on. Right. I don't think it's that. But I, I've I, heard that too, though. I'm not gonna lie. When I was on birth control for those three months, that's why I need to apply it so much now too. Because oh. I oh, just dry it out. out. Yeah. Oh really? But All right. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go. What, what, you had a question? I'm going to switch you from Vaseline to Aquaphor because Aquaphor For is the best lip balm. Yeah. I've really? tried literally like is it? almost real? everything mm-hmm. in the market and Aquaphor doesn't dry your lips out. Yeah. Really? Trust. Mm. But Aquaphor is not even for your lips. It's for like your skin, everything. for tattoos. They, they have everything. Yeah, this is your skin. Same with Vaseline. Yeah. That's true. That's mm-hmm. true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Item number three. We got Celsius. Whoa. Whoa. Really? Whoa. So... I don't drink coffee. Uh huh. Like I don't. Dr- I used to not drink caffeine at all. Okay. But instead of like pre workout, uh, I started taking this, mm-hmm. and now literally like without this, I, I can't even work out. Wow. Oh. It's kind of bad. It's kind of. Do you get a headache was... without it? Huh? It's like literally. No, I just feel tired. Uh huh. And like sometimes I do get a headache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm literally. The... I'm probably caffeine dependent. Yeah, it's yeah. Like Dude, that's 200. a two hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot. Dude, I used to do the exact same thing right when I first started working out. Uh, I didn't really know what pre workout was, and I thought yeah. it was really, really bad for you, so I didn't do it. But I switched over to pre workout like a long time ago. But I would <laughs> shotgun a Celsius. Shotgun. Me and my crazy. friend would literally shotgun a Celsius every single time we worked out before, and that's honestly probably the worst thing. Thing you could ever do, yeah, dude. Shotgunning a Celsius. I, I mean, it's probably the same thing as drinking. Dude, it like no, it it like zings you, <laughs> like yeah. full on. Like I'd be doing legs, and I'm like, why? Are you trying yeah, to do it? yeah. No, Celsius is the only thing, like, cause I've tried like Red Bull and shit, yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. the only thing that actually like kind of like locks me in. I don't know why. It's but it's, it's a lot. It's bad though. I need to get off this shit. Yeah. But if you want one, Peach Vibe is the flavor I'm <laughs> fucking with the most right now, for real. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that peach I like five, the tea yeah. ones. The tea ones, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the raspberry mango cream. cream. Ones, yeah. yeah. Oh, what the heck? Um, so my four. It, yeah, item number four now. Item number four. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I literally made a joke about him bringing oh. this, and he literally brought it. <laughs> All right. Uh, this bitch almost empty, bro. <laughs> it is like, running like, low. Literally, it's running low, and like honestly, if you wanted to know how I smell like. Steal or Savage. I, 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 I hate <laughs> to. I, smell I, it? I hate to admit it. I hate Dude, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it smells yeah, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this saying one of your good friends? What do you say about that? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like honestly, it's the most overhyped cologne. But I've had compliments from multiple girls. Oh yeah. And I, I feel like girls always shit on it. But at the same time, when I wear it, they compliment it. Dude, yeah. that's so thing, like, bro. I don't know what's going on. Dude, that's I, the thing. It's hyped for a reason. I'll yeah, say. it is hyped it for it. It smells yeah. good. Yeah. It smells very good. And I think it's just because it's, there's like a persona behind it. Yeah. That any guy who wears Dior somewhere, yeah, it's like a fuck boy. Away. Yeah. But I, I'm wearing it proudly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, dude. Wear yeah. that shit. Dude, honestly, I feel like girls can't even tell. I could tell. Can you? Now I can. Like, oh, distinguish, like, which cologne? Right. No, no, no. I, don't I, think no I could just tell if they're wearing Dior. Without yeah. seeing, the like, the bottle. No, no, no. Like, just if I smell them. Yeah, I'm if like, they walk Dior. by. Tell. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, and honestly, like, I but have a couple good. I have a couple different colognes, too. Uh-huh. But, like, this is honestly the one that's... You fuck with? Yeah, yeah. So is, this that the the one? is that the one that has gotten the most girls? Uh, <laughs> 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 I wouldn't say... I wouldn't credit this to like me getting <laughs> girls but literally like multiple girls have said oh like you smell good and mm. it's like oh i got your ass because <laughs> <laughs> it's literally dior and then my last item okay Fifth item. Uh, it's kind of weird what's kind of weird it's my fucking honey <laughs> what don't wow play, honey right? don't fucking i did play. not all right i put this shit on everything oh, wow. oh really especially because i'm dieting right now right 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 Bro, i put this on everything i can't even eat like sugar like candy anything yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, this is what i eat wait isn't this sugar this is it's natural <laughs> though no this yeah, is yeah. Yeah. it's a little bit better but um <laughs> yeah. literally i put it on every like, meal what's like a unusual thing that you put it on 
Like I cook Brussels sprouts with my steak. Oh, the, it's no, all the honey, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, honey glazed Brussels sprouts are yeah, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and I put it in my protein pancakes. I put it in my everything. My, my Greek yogurt. Like, yeah, literally everything. It's I the can't. best like sweetener. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. no, bro. literally, I'm double stocked on it all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, literally, because I be using so much that uh-huh. I need like another one backup. Wow. <laughs> wow, well, I would not have guessed the honey. Me no, same. I did not. Yeah, literally, my That's honey. That's funny. He's yeah. a little poo bear. <laughs> yeah, but those are my GQs. Five things I can't live without. Yeah, bro. Hey, next next fan meetup or something. You know what to bring Jason. Some yeah, honey. Exactly. Some some honey, honey. Exactly. And you know how he smells like. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Get him a new yeah, bottle, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now right, moving yeah. on. Right. Hello. My five things I can't live without. Number one. Uh huh. Mm, which one should I choose? <laughs> uh, okay, I'll start with this. <coughs> Ta-da! Oh, oh speaker! speaker. Yes. yes! It's my speaker. I carry it with me everywhere I go. Modeling shoots, mm. dinners, picnics. Oh, dinners? Dinners. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. Like home dinners. Home, home, dinner. home dinner. Oh. Home dinner. Home no dinner. way at the dinner table you're pulling that. <laughs> home dinner. Home dinner. Because... <laughs> Yo, speakers matter. I agree. Yeah. To the shoes, yeah. That's yeah. So, speakers that's what I matter. Yeah, yeah, like, do. if the bass ain't hidden, why are we even listening? Wow. You know? Yeah. Like, I that's need... That's a great speaker as yeah, well. Yeah, this is a Bose speaker. I love it. It's like my my baby. It looks good. Um, yeah, this is one of the best. So, I love this. And I'm a big music person, so... Mm-hmm. Um, the next one... Ah, right here. The next one is my paintbrush. <laughs> so a lot of you might not know this, but I also love to paint. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, I haven't seen those stories. I've been seeing, yeah. I didn't yeah. really like to paint. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Yeah. So maybe I'll, I can send some pictures that you guys can see. Yes. Of my hey, paintings. man. We should have had her paint the wall, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing out here? I know. Wait, yeah. Where was you? <laughs> Wait, what the? Dude, oh, my God. Where were you? Well, when we were painting the wall, it was so funny. Because, like... <laughs> Paul and I were just shit at it and we're just going Dude, every we single day. a new job. <laughs> and then Jason's Genuine. side is just like, bro, this guy's talented at painting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need to see this. No, no. <laughs> There's no such thing as talented at painting. No, talented. and then we were like, we're like, we found his new job. He's his a carpenter. Are amazing. <laughs> great strokes, great even layer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I like did a Broadway, off Broadway show in New York. And I was commissioned to paint some big paintings for them. And that kind of changed my life. And that really wow. brought me into my artistic side. So mm-hmm. painting means a lot to me personally, like made me more creative. Mm-hmm. And it's like a source of therapy. So mm. paintbrush. That's a great answer. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a great answer. I did not know that. What the? Yeah, I love to paint. My third item uh-huh. is a robe. <laughs> 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 I literally cannot live without this. Really? I love wearing like silk, satin stuff when I'm at home. Uh-huh. Um, that's like when I know like I can unwind and like this is when I'm home, you know? <laughs> Right. You actually wear that at home? I do. Really? I do. Oh. I wish I was like that, but I'm I thought, yeah, girls. <laughs> I'm a lad. I'm Sandler at home. Yeah, girls wear like <laughs> oversized tees and shit. I got like stains and shit all on my yeah. shirt. Like, don't the care. Thing is, I I was like that too. Okay. I had all that, but I donated She's everything. She's and like mature. now, I feel like mm-hmm. this is like how I know I'm like chilling at home. Like mm-hmm. I feel She's good. Grown. She's grown. Yeah. Okay. So anything like silky, roby. I love. If I had my own apartment, I'd be like that too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'd be walking around naked and have no clothes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My fourth item is this book. Wow. It's called Your Brain on Art. Ooh. And this is like the book that describes me. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Do like you read a every, lot? I love reading. Oh. Yeah. So this is my favorite book. I keep it on my desk at all times to just remind me of like who I am. And every like research in here is like if you see like it's like all like it's all um annotated uh, annotated wow. and highlighted because wow. like everything is just so amazing so if you guys have the chance um pick this book up is that brain on ivy Earth. ross as in you know bob ross's <laughs> <laughs> wait what so uh, ivy uh, <laughs> it's written by susan magsman and ivy ross ivy ross is actually the head of design at google oh wow mm-hmm. who are you talking about Bob 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 Ross. Ross. <laughs> like wife or like oh. daughter or something oh, it's about art so i was oh. like oh shit i don't know you, you know his family like that no, no, no she no. was trolling he was trolling oh, he was yeah. trolling <laughs> <laughs> but yeah how art transforms us wow. yeah, wait so be honest how, how many times do you read that book the, i read this like at least four times four yeah, times that's yeah. a lot for yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah i refer to it a lot okay 
Next one. Yeah. We need to get a life together. Yeah, these are good items, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to bring some bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> What's that last item? Um, the last item is my Vivian Westwood necklace oh. and my hoop earrings. Oh. oh, girl. Yeah. I totally, I totally, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> totally, totally, totally. Yeah. yeah, this is just a staple of my. I feel like for me, I don't like rotate a lot of accessories. Same. I just, if I find something that I like, I'm hooked. Right, Same. right, right. So yes. I just keep that as like my staple. Yeah. This is like the Sola special right here. Exactly. Vivian with, okay. and yeah. with, with hoops. Dude, so. that's like me too. Yeah. yeah. I literally don't feel like pretty or human if i don't have my hoops on when me I go too out. Oh, i will really? i will yeah. literally go back to my house to mm -hmm. grab my, my hoop hoops, earrings same. or my necklace if i don't have it like i don't i don't feel like myself I don't right know. but hoops like that that always scare me though what? why <laughs> that size what? why that's because like i don't want to because if it gets <laughs> caught on something you know what i mean oh oh no, that's it, why it could, oh. like i could just pull it <laughs> oh oh really <laughs> Oh, I didn't know it was like that. All right, so yeah. that was the end. I think next week they're going to do theirs, obviously. Mm -hmm, yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Should I ask my goofy one? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Do you guys talk to yourselves? <laughs> oh, dude, I talk to myself. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> when? Really? I, all day. Like my really? girlfriend catches me. No. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. thank God. Because yeah. I be doing the same shit. <laughs> yeah, really? Like yeah. for hours, I'm just having a conversation with myself. For like hours. as as you're walking around or something? Dude, it's like normally late at night. Uh -huh. when there's like no one around me. I'm just sitting in my bed and I'll think of something interesting to talk about like whatever I'm gonna tell you guys or I'm gonna something's happening I'll literally like say it out loud and then I'll imagine what the other person says to me and then I'm like this is a great conversation I'll just keep going on and on and on <laughs> I'm not I'm not like that that's, that's wild. it's more like I'm not expecting a, a, a <laughs> actual <laughs> response uh -huh. it's more like me just talking uh -huh. like for example to nobody though so like my girl will be like laying in the bed uh -huh. and I'll be in the restroom and then and I'll start just talking. And she's like, "What?" I was like, "Oh no, no, nothing." But I'm just saying, what like, you, to, just talking to myself. Like, like you're just thinking about know. it, but you just say it out loud. Yeah, time. it's more like oh, it's more like open thoughts, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I'll be like having open thoughts, and then I'll be like around people, and then I'll accidentally say something out loud once, and people are like, "What?" And I'm like, "I didn't mean that. I was just having a conversation." <laughs> <in my head. laughs> Do you guys not have a conversation in your head? No, I'd I be talking about myself, but not too often, though. Mm. Yeah. In the car a lot, too. Do in the, really? in wow. the car. In the car a lot. It, time <laughs> goes by quick when I'm talking to myself. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. I literally, like... <laughs> I thank God one of you guys related to me because I literally... If I'm, like, angry about something, especially, mm -hmm. I'll have, like, the argument. Yeah. You it's know? like running scenarios. Exactly. In loud. my head. But you say it though. You're for saying real. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. this is a great conversation. If I say mm -hmm. this exactly at that moment, it's going to be great. But I never actually say what I want to say mm -hmm. if I rehearse it. Yeah, it comes out differently. It comes out time. so different. Yeah, 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 I bet. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my God. That's so cute. <laughs> I feel Do you like not talk to yourself? So I don't talk to myself, but I guess I talk to myself like in my head. Like okay, I'm not yeah. like audibly saying it out yeah. loud, mm -hmm. but like I'm saying everything in my head, like in my shower. Shit, if I fought with somebody and like... Oh, shit. I think about that too. Yeah, I'm like in the shower. I'm like, like I have all these points. Like I'm like a lawyer. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, boom, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I don't... I think the only time I talk to myself is like maybe like... Um, when I'm like sad or some shit, <laughs> like I look at the mirror and I'm like, girl, like, why are you doing this? Like, oh. you know, I hype myself up, right. but mm -hmm. not like on a day to day like you. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually, it's like a problem. Sometimes I catch myself, it's like, wow, somebody was watching me, they would think I'm weird as fuck. Dude, I think you do like it that, that shit. much, I do it that All much, the time like, as well. Even at the gym. At the gym. It's like, it's kind of okay at the gym because like people think like you're like. Yeah, you're motivating yourself. No, something. it's more like they think you're like singing along Sing to a the song. song. Oh, oh, but I'm just kind of like. <laughs> They don't know me, son. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I mean? what Dude, yeah. You don't know what I'm talking about? Too. If you see me on the treadmill, yeah. I'm just locked in at right. nothing. Right. But I'm just like, right. I sometimes, just right. sometimes I want to <laughs> yeah. be like, and I get, I get kind of mad because I'm like, I wish I could just say all of this shit out loud right Dude, now. Dude, you're locked in. <laughs> Dude, wow. I'm, they don't know me, son. <laughs> 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 no, it's literally like that. It's literally like that, bro. For real. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Like, we think I'm a fucking weirdo. Yeah. And I'm also <laughs> lip syncing all my words songs. for songs too right so i'm just at the gym <laughs> someone see me I'm oh your mouth don't stop moving at the yeah. gym <laughs> don't, don't <laughs> stop thinking, talking to you how you do it yeah. all 
Dude, but at know. the gym, it's okay because I see other people do it too. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, like really? they're like okay. dancing a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just dancing to the song. Yeah, yeah. But like, straight talking. Bro. Same on the treadmill. Yeah. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about now because like the, I see people do that. Like yeah. they they lip it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they don't say it. But they're just like. Mm. <laughs> 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 but I'm out loud with it though. Wow. I'm out loud with it. Yeah. So like especially like if I'm like thinking of a scenario in my head and I get really excited. I like want to be excited while I'm on the treadmill too, <laughs> but what? like I can't, so I have to like compose myself. Interesting. You know I'd love to see this. I know if yeah. Jason's girlfriend, if you have a clip of this, please <laughs> send us. <laughs> it's like the but, door closed in the back. But Jason's like just having a full yeah. conversation. <laughs> but it's not like me in the mirror. You yeah, know, it's, yeah, not, it's, it's not like it's that. Not right, that. Right, it's right, not right, that. It's literally like while I'm doing stuff and I'm thinking about something, I'll I'll speak out loud sporadically. Mm. you know what i mean yeah. yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah and then people probably think i'm so weird but yeah. i'm just like i'm it's deep in there you yeah. know yeah I mean? but actually that's kind of healthy yeah, you yeah. think so kind of yeah you're, you're, let, yeah, you're yeah. letting you're it out letting it out yeah. exactly yeah. exactly it's like a verbal journal yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. dude <laughs> yeah. like literally if i have something really exciting to tell you guys mm-hmm. i'll say the conversation like in every single perspective <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, oh, how would Paul respond? How would yeah, yeah. respond? That's crazy. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. I, don't do that shit. I literally like I love talking to myself and I didn't think anyone else did that, but yeah. I thought that was a yeah, That's so great cute. conversation. No, but that means you that means you, Megan, you have a lot of empathy. Because you're like you constantly so? in like Oh yeah, thinking about yeah, other people's people, perspective. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys rehearse your conversations if you need to have yes. something deep? Yeah. Sometimes. Like breakup conversations. Mm. Oh, I rehearse that so much. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like that is something you got to rehearse. Yeah. 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 Like everyone does that. Yeah, yeah. The mm-hmm. breakup is. Or sometimes, like, I'd be rehearsing, like, intros. So if I were to meet someone new. Yes. Oh. Someone that I'm kind of nervous to meet. Uh-huh. I got to think about, Ooh. like, the, uh, the one liners I got to hit them with. <laughs> Oh, but usually I don't even oh, end I up see, hitting the one liners. Yeah. <laughs> and usually when I rehearse is when it's the most awkward. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Dude, yeah, for real. Yeah, you just gotta go in there, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I realized. Yeah, you just gotta go in there. Because you're like trying to think, oh, I need to say something, and then you just blank. And yeah. Then now you're like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the worst. Yeah. Dude, I just get like overly excited to say my story. I'm the worst storyteller on this planet. The worst, yeah. And I'm on a podcast. <laughs> like, for real, I'm literally the worst storyteller because I get so excited. It's because you're not linear with it. I'm yeah. not linear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You take too much time. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm like, this <laughs> happened and then this happened. Yeah. But, oh, wait, I forgot the main point that happened along yeah. the way. You're adding yeah. the random details. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, adding the different perspectives. But you really just need to add the your One. own. Yeah. <laughs> wait, but I relate to that so much because... Every time I tell a story to Scott, it's like, okay, what's the point? Yeah. Like, like, get to the end. Like, I don't need to know all these side quests you're on. Like, you know? My thing is just like, I literally forget important parts along the way because I'm so excited to tell the ending. (laughs) And I'm like, you needed to hear the buildup of it. Exactly. And they think that if you add this random girl's perspective, it's going to add a whole different life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like, yo, it's It's the same. You need the context. You You need the context. I need you to see it. Like exactly. You, you need to be in the scene, you know. Well, I can't. <laughs> I can't talk about it like that. I'm just so bad, and I need to. I'm on a fucking <laughs> podcast. You know what I mean? I should be good at saying stories, but I'm so bad. Then keep talking to yourself, and you'll get better. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys poop in front of your partner? <laughs> of course. Are like dead ass, really? Bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ass? like yeah. in the bathroom. Like she's in the bathroom. Oh, okay, okay. Get the fuck out of the bathroom. Okay, what do you yeah, mean? But you let's say like then. she's like in the bathroom. Are you okay? Like, yeah, like would if you I f- have to go? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Have you done it? Ah, uh, no. Then what but the okay, imagine. Okay, like about, when man. I go to like Hawaii, for example, yeah, yeah. we both in the hotel room. Right. Like I could leave the door open and shit if she wanted to, like fucking talk to me. Oh. Like, but you've but never done it before. Yeah. Okay, that's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. but let's say you're pooping and then your girlfriend's like, "Wait, like I need to like ma- do makeup in the bathroom. Can I can I go in?" It's right. more like it's not that weird. It's just I feel bad. Like you're gonna smell my shit, dude. <laughs> but I mean, if you want to, like, or like she needs to take a shower. Exactly. Yeah. Right oh, next to it. Yeah. Because I mean, like crazy. peeing in front of your girl is just oh easy. It, yeah, but That's it's like easy. similar. No, fuck no. Not that Dude, different. You're so like that That's that no. position you're in as a guy is yeah, yeah. with the thigh, the ass to thigh mm. showing is so <laughs> vulnerable. Like, <too. laughs> and you're always kind of like bent over like this. It's <laughs> my, not. It's not. <laughs> my ex would pee sitting there all the time. Yeah. 
What? Honest, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> no, no spillage, bro. Yeah, you pee sitting down. No spillage, though, bro. What you talking about? Splatter and shit. It splatters, bro. Yeah. You know it splatters. Bro. And I know you're not putting that seed up. Oh, this I mean, guy don't put the seat nah. up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that don't you mean just I gotta, don't care about girls. That, that don't mean I gotta sit down. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have, you don't to. have to. But actually, like amongst my girlfriends, we talked about this that girls have a lot of respect for guys who actually pee sitting down. Yeah, I feel like a lot of Asian guys pee sitting down. Yeah, because like it, it kind of means like like you're kind of. Um, so like my my friends told me that like it means that you're not like toxically ma- toxically masculine. Oh, because like it means you're soft. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it literally means like no. It means that you're no. not like macho-ly masculine. Yeah. yeah, I totally, I totally. Because see why it. you gotta dominate your power on a toilet? You can just sit down <laughs> and you, know, you can just sit down and have a nice time sitting on, down on the ivory throne. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, he's not sitting down. You can sit down. <laughs> Dude, if your girl told you to sit down because you're leaving stains on the fucking floor, you would sit down. First of all, I'm not leaving no stains. <laughs> no, the, no spillage at all. There's no way there's never there's spillage, no, yeah, there's bro. Never or it doesn't spillage. go onto the toilet oh, yeah, seat. Okay, okay. But there might be some splashback, but you just get it. But you've never, after. like, sit down and peed? No, I mean, when I'm shitting. <laughs> 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 like, what? <laughs> so exactly. <laughs> It's not, dude. That's so exactly. weird. That's weird. Why is that weird? Think about, like, think about like, you're like at Costco, right? And you need like you're running home because you need to piss so bad. And mm-hmm. you see your man's, and he, he like pulls his pants down and he sits down. <laughs> what the? Is he a girl? You know what I mean? No. no. Dude, this is just too into that kind of shit, bro. <laughs> what do you mean too into That's what I'm saying. Too masculine, dude, uh, Again, bro. Andrew T right here. <laughs> I don't know why you're trying to correlate the two. I'm just like, yo, it's... Dude, that's literally what we're trying to correlate. That you're saying that's feminine if a guy does that, right? Okay, it is kind of soft. Like you, you know what I mean? It is kind of soft. But, but nothing wrong with being soft. Yeah. <laughs> I think you need to. I think you need to. You know, round out your edges a little bit. You, you get a little too sharp out here. Bro, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit this one out. I'm gonna bro, let him go at it. Yo, you're supposed to be on my <laughs> fucking side. I'm bro. gonna let him go at it. No, because I understand. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I understand both sides. I don't know, bro. You're not going to catch me run to a toilet and then start sit put, down. And then I think bare ass down. I think you're thinking too much about the like the what meaning you're behind doing. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, who gives a fuck? It's like, just your girl's more- not judging you. She's seen your ass. She's seen your thigh, bare naked. She's <laughs> probably real. like slapped your ass hundreds for of real, times. For real. It's, if your girl doesn't But I see want- what he's saying though. If no, you did I, care about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your girl should get to the point where she like wants to shave your butthole for you to and everything. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? Going back to the question though. <laughs> I think that like both the, yeah yeah that's crazy but the the pooping is I think that's where you gotta draw the line yeah pooping is bad though really like, okay yeah let's circle back to the original question. oh yeah I kind of like it when my man is kind of open about that so you would prefer that <laughs> I'm saying I feel <laughs> like hypothetically though <laughs> like you would be down no Me? hypothetically but I feel like the to girl to keep the door open. No, like say like she wanted to come in, but I just feel like the girl would never want to come in while you're shitting anyways. No, I do. No, dude. <laughs> no, girls do. Let bro. me sit on your lap while you poop. Oh hell no. no you're not sitting on my lap. Bro. No, no, no. I agree with Sola in the way it's like I like when if you're pooping, I'm fine. Exactly. I'll walk in too. I'm completely fine. Right. I don't about care it. about the smell. I don't care about the sound. The, the if I love you, if and yeah, exactly. I just want to be with you. Exactly. Mm. Let me in. Mm-hmm. If a girl loves you enough, <laughs> she no matter how stinky. No matter how disgusting, she don't care. No, exactly. I agree with that. I agree that you believe that. But I think <laughs> <laughs> guys are not... Guys don't want it, though. Okay, but let, let's let's go back to the other side. Uh-huh. It girls, would you be okay with your man coming in while you... Pre- <laughs> Honestly, See, no. See, now it's a different story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now yeah, it's yeah. a different story. Oh, definitely. Okay but, no. okay, but here's the thing. Like, I feel like as a girl, like, sure, you can be comfortable. But I also want to keep... A sense of like mystery, same, <laughs> same, <laughs> or like decency, you know? Yeah. But guys, it's like ah, oh, you guys don't need to be. That's what I'm okay. saying. I can just come uh, in. We're already dirty anyway. Exactly. Right? <laughs> exactly. We're like animals, so it don't even matter. Exactly. Right? For <laughs> me, like I have to be insanely comfortable in that house for me to poop. Yeah, girls. You know, mm-hmm. and like yeah. it, it, it took me around like four or five months for me to adjust staying at my boyfriend's apartment for me to start pooping there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. That's and like thing, it's such bro. a thing. If I go on a trip, uh-huh. like a camping trip right. for five days, I'm not pooping. Not pooping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five same, days. same, same. Actually, you know what I mean? Do you mm-hmm. get like that? Yeah, I'm like that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Girls are like that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. They be good. No, my girl goes into my restroom. She's like, oh, I really need to poop. Uh-huh. Goes in, comes out. I couldn't poop. I want to just poop, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, that is definitely a thing. Okay, last question. Okay, okay. If you had to give an advice to your younger self, what would it be? Mm, okay, I, I get like this how question. old? How old? Freshman yeah, year of high school. Okay. If you could tell that guy or girl <gasps> one thing, what would you tell them? I have it locked in. Really? I got too many well, things got, to tell that uh, fucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, one thing? Should I say mine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can start, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say, you're gonna love being Asian. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Wait, I literally just got Dude. chills. Yeah. <laughs> really? Cry for a second too. For a second. Wait, Dude, I'm actually gonna cry. <laughs> I literally like hated being Asian. Oh. Like growing up, like in elementary school, being in middle school. Yeah. I can't talk about it either. I'm gonna cry. No. <laughs> but for real, like I love being Asian now, and I like am so blessed. But yeah. Wow. That's actually so touching. Can I ask a follow up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like what made you now feel, you know, more prideful about your ethnicity being Asian and stuff like that? Um, I really didn't feel that prideful until I got to like college. I don't know. Like in elementary school, I, always, I would always think like none of the guys liked me. They liked all the other girls that weren't Asian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I hated it. I'm like, why was I born this way? Yeah. Like, why am I like this? And I wasn't even that smart either. So I'm like, I'm not even a valid Asian at this point. And that's what I would think all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then even in middle school, I felt like that. High school, kind of. But high school was just such a weird... I was going through so many transitions. Mm-hmm. Like, it, I, I didn't even think about it too much. But then now being in college, like meeting people like seeing a f- whole new fresh face mm-hmm. of people because i had the same people from kindergarten to high school you know Damn. so like yeah i think that's when i was like and especially now i think the last two years i've been right. like insanely prideful to be i was gonna say i think wow. the pod helped you feel a lot so more much. prideful about mm-hmm. it yeah 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 yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. and joining greek life kind of helped a lot even oh, though i was oh, really? li- I, w- I was literally the only korean in greek life at fullerton uh-huh. mm-hmm. so but then i just like i don't know i felt i felt good yeah. No, oh, that makes me so happy. Mm-hmm. Mm, I was gonna, I, wanna, I was like, I looking at you, you. I would have cried I if you. I didn't. Yeah. Sorry. For real, no, bro. but I really wanna. <laughs> um, for me, if I could go back and tell my freshman year self something, I think I would say, "You don't know what working hard is." Wow. Because I feel like I thought oh. I was working hard, but mm. I wasn't. You know, and if I maxed out my ability and like worked as hard as I could, I would have had better results for sure. Oh. And everything like sports and school and all that. So you're saying you thought you were working hard back then? Yeah, but I really wasn't looking mm-hmm. back. Like I'm like, you were, but you're really just doing the bare minimum of what people consider to be working hard. Like yeah. for example, like working out every day. Mm-hmm. But then like if you're really about it, you know what I mean? Like those athletes work like the whole day. You know, mm-hmm. before they go to school, after they go to school, after practice. Mm-hmm. So I feel like some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's like a l- lot of reward for like just long term gratification yeah. that we don't know when we're young. Yeah, you when know? you're young, you feel like it's like a chore to work hard. Right. Like, fuck, bro. Why? Right. You know what I mean? And when you do work hard, you're not really working that that hard. You're more so yeah. focused for a long extended amount of time. But I don't think you're like physically like, you know, mm-hmm. have a goal in mind while you're working. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, I but saying. I think that mindset transfers over to who you are now, too. You know, yeah. you, you still have that grind going, yeah. which is good. Yeah. yeah, no facts, facts. Yeah. Like, I can relate to that because, like, I used to hate piano lessons when I was growing up. Like, yeah. I was like, oh, why is my mom, like, making me play piano for, like, two hours every day? Yeah. Right. And I stopped, I quit. And now I'm, like, regretting it Dude, so much. I agree. Mm. That's one of my biggest regrets as well. You know? But I don't think we we, we understand that when yeah. we're so young. We don't, we don't. You know? But if you had a young like you, shit. <laughs> 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 yeah bro honestly bro for all the kids at home <laughs> yeah. don't take everything for granted bro honestly for real. Mm-hmm. use your time what what's your sala mine is so if i could tell my freshman year self one thing it'll be you don't have to please everybody oh that's mm. a good one too yeah i think i grew up trying to be this perfect little girl that made everybody happy my mom mm-hmm. my dad my brother my friends everybody and i think i like kind of lost who i was and I wasn't doing things um, that were true so, to me. Yeah. Right. Um, but I think now I'm realizing, okay, I can have haters. I can mm-hmm. have, I don't need to make everybody, I don't have to satisfy everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I can bro. just be me and the people who will appreciate that will be in my life. 
Hundred percent relate. Yeah. Same. Same. Yeah. Uh, damn, dude, I got a lot. I was thinking, dude. I was thinking hard, <laughs> but uh, a lot of things to tell dude, that freshman yeah. kid, man. Yeah. yeah. I said this before, but stay down till you're up. Your time will come. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fifteen year old me, I was, I had, I was so lonely uh-huh. at my at my high school because mm. I came from middle school that. That, you know, all those kids from middle school, they oh. go to a certain high school. High school. Yeah. And oh, I went yeah. to a different high school. So I f- see. so 15-year-old me was sitting in uh, my bi- biology teacher's classroom eating lunch by himself. No. Wow. Fr- freshman year? Freshman year old freshman year old me. What the? At Irvine really? High, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I would also say invest in your re- mm-hmm. relationships with your friends because they will shape you into who you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For real. Yeah. yeah. But most importantly, yeah, stay down to your up, baby. What does that mean? Stay down to your up. Mm. Like your time is coming. Like, like, yeah, like, focus on, focus on you. Stay, stay down. Mm, and your time will come, and then, yeah. Wow. Stay down to I love that. I love all of ours. <laughs> yeah, that was such a good. <laughs> that was such a good I'm question. So Thank you. I so learned much. so much about you guys, yeah. literally, in, just in that one question. Yeah. But. Okay. But yeah, we got a party to go to. Yeah, we got to <laughs> skedaddle, got to go drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think no truth or drink this time. Yeah, no truth or drink. Yeah. And honestly, I, I know it was a little awkward this time. We're still getting used to the set and everything. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right. So I think next week we'll be definitely be better. Yep, yep. For real. All right. And uh, subscribe, guess a 50K. Yes, We're on sir. the road. Maybe Run by the summer. Oh, yeah, definitely by the yeah, summer. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, we're the 9 for 9 podcast. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>